This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, friends. Welcome to GoOnlineTrainings.com. We are talking about uh, queries, right? The other day, we were talking about how to use cast function and how to use convert function, right? So I think you have downloaded this video already and make sure that you download the videos on regular basis and um, you keep them in your local computer these videos will be deleted once in two, you know three days from the uh, the shared drive okay afterwards if you ask me i will simply ignore your mail i cannot send you the same you know the video because i'm going to be record, uh, deleting i will not be saving the videos anywhere else Clear. So make sure that you download the daily videos and keep them safely in your local drive. Yeah. Let me simply go to SQL Server and uh, let me try to understand what is the difference between cast and convert function. We were writing the other day. So I wanted to have account ID and the name of the person and the C balance from this table. So which is going to get me what is the account number and name and C balance. I don't have, I don't have the currency column in this table, right? So if you go to iBank database and there's a account master table, this is a banking table, account ID, name, address of the customer, branch in which is open the account, product ID. Product means whether he has taken savings bank account, fixed deposit account, something like that. Data of opening an account, clear balance and unclear balance. I explained clearly what is the difference between this column and this column and status. Whether account is in open state or closed state. Clear? So, now these are the columns we have i wanted to know currency what is the currency of this i wanted to say this currency is usd that is not available in our uh, computer but i wanted to print currency as well so this is what is called constant this is what is called column right so we can print we can print Co columns and constants that's what i told you right we can print columns and constants constants means which is not a part of the database at all but i wanted to display what is the currency for this or we can also take this column out and we can also have like this now let me remove this comma and execute it so we can have currency you know this one and what is the percent of the tax in India or in America? Uh, every, in a, everybody has to make. Let us say 18% of the tax. You can say 18 as a tax, so which is a constant again. And this is a column name, right? If you remove this, you will be able to see no column name. You can say as tax. So that is how we are going to use the constant values as well as the columns clear so this is what we were talking about yesterday but i wanted to merge i wanted to merge these two columns right so for example i wanted to print currency and c balance in a single column for that we have to do concatenation that's what we discussed concatenate columns so what is the symbol we must use it use plus symbol to concatenate so let me take the same query i wanted to say c balance comma let me say usd as uh, let us say currency right currency now let me execute it so this is what we have now i wanted to remove this and i would like to have a plus symbol over there 
so this is how you are going to be concatenating concatenating means merging combining that is the meaning of concatenation right i would like to merge this one and this one in a single column itself but unfortunately you are going to get an error why it is clearly telling me cannot convert var cal value to money i told you these are two different data types clear so this is what is called currency money data type this is a numbers and this is a string string means var cal value right var cal and var cal so i cannot convert i cannot merge so i cannot join i told you right you cannot add a water into a petrol okay you cannot merge them you cannot combine them or you know uh, you cannot you know take a milk and ha have the diesel there you cannot you know concatenate both of them because both of them are in different you know nature so different uh, you know things so we cannot so it's what we need to do so this is a money and this is a where care you need to convert this into where care to do that we have two functions right one is called cast the other one is called uh, uh you know convert function so what are the cast and convert function so these are type cast functions that's what people will say there are two functions let me put them here so we have two functions one is called these are called convert types so one is called we can use cast function the other one is called convert function again either we can use this or that in this we must use column name as uh, required data type so this is the syntax so here data type and uh, comma column name and later you can have a style number style number is not in you know, compulsory but if you wanted to have a style number you can have it clear so these are the to convert functions that we can use converted types or you know change the data types one is called cast and convert so i was telling you i wanted to use this will give me an error so i simply copy this and the paste it here let me convert using a cast call as required data type is where care you can you need not give the size you can mention the size yet if you wanted to say 100 200 but need not mention any size so simply execute it so now you're able to see this into a single column you can give a space here so you should be able to find out a space there clear or you can take this value here and remove the space there i wanted to get the space here and remove as currency and everything here plus you can say c balance okay so now try to execute it so first currency then this one and you can say as this is a balance right you can write so usd first then there is a space and take the c balance and as where care so when you convert the column name will not be there so we say as balance or a clear balance whatever you want it to give you can give any name any name you can give it is going to work if you don't give anything then it is not going to give you any column name clear so giving a column name is a must otherwise it is uh, there is no meaning to the column so people may ask you what is the column that you are going to be printing clear guys so this is the one thing that you must understand so i'm using cast function now we have one more function called convert right so the difference is let me show you convert first you need to give the data type where care comma column name is c balance right 
स्टाइल नंबर इज नॉट कंपलसरी इज नॉट मैंडेटरी स्टाइल नंबर इज नॉट मैंडेटरी डेटा टाइप एंड कॉलम नेम कॉलम नेम इज सी बैलेंस एंड स्टाइल नंबर इज नॉट एट ऑल रिक्वायर्ड लेट मी गो टू सीक्वल सर्वर एंड कन्वर्ट डेटा टाइप इज दिस एज बैलेंस लेट मी एग्जीक्यूट इट सो both of them are going to give you same result set have you seen this you can execute both queries at any time so this is how it is going to work so there is no problem at all but the question is why we have to use cast and convert both functions for the same purpose there is no meaning right we can use only one why cast and why convert where exactly we can use convert where exactly we can use cast that is the interview question so the next slide is going to talk about the difference between cast and convert function let me explain some more points about convert function so let me show you where exactly we are going to be using convert i wanted to get see all the columns from account master table let me execute this query so account number when you open an account in the bank it is a banking industries data right so name address branch everything is fine so savings bank account loan account fixed deposit account this is what is called a product id so this customer is belong to this product date of opening an account if you see carefully there is a date and a time because we have given date time here so time is also getting captured so i don't want to display the time to the you know customer because nobody needs date and time when did you open an account they'll say august 5th or september 17th nobody will tell you 17 you know 17th of september morning 5 you know 40 am so that is completely useless so i don't want to print you know time date everything here so i wanted to convert this into different styles of the date clear or sometimes i wanted to have uh, only the time sometimes i need only the date sometimes i need mmdd yyy format you know that is american style but indians do not like that indians needs dd slash mm slash yyy so uh, some other countries will have different styles together so they need different you know uh, 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 display styles for the dates okay so let me go here account id name date of opening an account let me execute so this style i don't need it so i want to convert i'll say convert say where care this is the column and a date of opening and i don't give any style number let me give this is open date open date means account open date i'll give you one uh, column name see the style the style is changed but i want to use a style number as specified there see you now style number starting with 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 like that we can give different styles and see give me give number 1 now see this date see this number 1 so this is this is a style let me give you this is one style and let me give you style number 2 execute this is style number 2 now see what is the difference between these two now this is you know mm dd yy format this is dd dot mm this is you know or this is yy this is you know mm this is dd this is with the dot let me change style number 3 style number when i give 3 it is giving me in this style what is the style now the style is this one is dd and mm yy this is how the indians looks you know that look at the dates clear so this is how an american look at the date right so 
MMDDYWFMAX. So if you're you know working for Indian customers, you need to display the date in this format. They don't need the times and everything. So this is how you should be able to have it. So when you go in for the you know any other country, so probably so this is also one more. This is also Indian style, but now only difference is this is instead of this they're giving a dot clear so if they need like this you can give if they need with the dot then you need to give this number so number five like that we have a lot of numbers now see the next style so next style is also indian style but dash okay iphone or the dash now we can go what is that the indians wanted to have or americans wanted to have so this is one more short style okay if you wanted to have like this this is also indians like it okay so different colors different formats in which you should be able to have the data 26th october 20 clear so now you can change these numbers so i think the, 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 these numbers are starting with one two i think 21 are there but in this you are going to get year number in two digits have you seen year number only two digits so everywhere year number will be in two digits so you can keep on changing one two three four five six seven up to 21 year number you will get in two digits but i wanted to get year number in i think here i don't remember the last number but in this case you are going to get y y y if I give you 107 or 101 here, now you see what happens. So this is how the difference would be. The difference would be, you will be able to see why, 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 why. See now, October 26, 2020, if you give 101, right? Copy one of the dates and you put them here. You should be able to see why, 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 why. Clear? So, either you can use 1 to 21 or you can use 101 to 131 or it may increase different styles are being added to this number. So, this is the purpose of a convert function. Okay? In, in, in this case, cast cannot be used because cast does not have a style number. Clear? Cast does not have a style number. And the style number is optional. If you wanted to provide, you can provide. Otherwise, it is not mandatory also. For example, if I don't provide this number, still it is going to work. Still it is going to work. It will give you some style. Some style it is going to be giving it. So it is going to work, including date and time. And this is the default date and time. And this is a style. So you can keep on changing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the specifically, specifically convert function has to be used in case of, in case of, if you wanted to show the data in, especially the date and time data in different styles, clear? That is where convert has to be used. Cast to convert the data to one data type into another, you must use cast. So the difference between cast and convert, it is ANSI, function it is sql server function and see means what american national standard institution so this function is available in all rdbms software sql server oracle mysql and teradata postgresql wherever you are using you know rdbms softwares in that you can see cast but convert is not like that it, it may not be guaranteed in oracle it may not be there in your uh, uh, MySQL, you know, or you know, NetEase DB2 databases. Clear? It's used to convert data types. It is used to convert date and time styles. Clear? It is SQL Server function means it is available only in SQL Server, but not may not be available in other some other databases like MySQL, Oracle, and DB2, NetEase, PostgreSQL. I, I I was telling you in the day one, right? What are the other RDBMS softwares we have? So SQL Server is from Microsoft, Oracle, then we have NetEase, 
lot of you know rdbms softwares are available in the market so that is how we can understand cast is a ANSI standard function american national standard institution so it is available in all you know softwares rdbms softwares but convert is not guaranteed in other it may be there but it is not guaranteed because it is not a ANSI function clear but what is the purpose in sql server it can convert date and time styles okay i would like to display my date and time data into this style so can you do that yes why not we can use convert function clear compulsory in interview question so be clear on that it is used to convert the date data from one data type to another it is also used to convert date and time into various styles okay this is the syntax convert data types comma date or variable and format number or the style number clear guys so these are the things that you must know now we had seen a typecast functions the next function is aggregate functions okay we are going to be discussing a lot of functions okay the first one we had seen typecast functions right so typecast functions already we discussed what is that cast and the second one is convert and we discussed the second type of the function is called as aggregate okay aggregate functions so we have a few more in this count star it counts number of rows in a table sum and column name you must provide it gets the total value minimum if you wanted to use minimum minimum column name you must supply and it gets the minimum value maximum column name it gets the maximum value and average function it gives you average value question for the cast uh, can we hmm. um sorry i missed out or something but hmm. we can use that also for the date right cast or no hmm. cast is not you know mentioned for that right you can convert but if you need different styles it is recommended that you use convert okay okay it won't work um, if we put the format we need for using yeah. cast okay yes, that is the meaning of that yeah okay so you better go in for convert function there okay am i clear yeah okay. very good so count star and some min max average so if you go to a table let me go to my table so which table i'm going to be using convert this table account master table you can say select star from the table name so make sure you are pointing to what i bank database okay otherwise you better always write your database name many people will not write like this and you execute that so this will get executed in this database sometimes you don't write this command you will have you know you would have pointed to some other database and try to execute this and they'll call me morning evening they'll call me sir it is not working they never check what is that they're pointing to clear so first time learners first time learners if you get something make sure that you're pointing to right database what is the database you're using ibank you always write the database name so this is the best practice and execute these two commands at a time clear so select them or if you don't select them also execute the complete commands will get executed you don't get any kind of an issue make sure that you do that clear so now i have this table i wanted to know number of rows each row is one customer customer number one customer number two customer number three so counting rows is equivalent to counting customers one two three four five so i have to count rows so 64 rows are available 
So somebody may ask you find out number of customers in your I bank table. So you can say select count star from the account master table. So it is going to count the number of rows. That's what I'm telling. It counts the number of rows in a table. That's what you do it. So simply execute it. It is going to be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 64 rows. Have you seen this? When you execute it, you are going to get so 64 rows. Am I clear? We should be able to see the count as well in this corner. Now, when you execute it, you are going to get number of rows available in this table. Find out number of customers. Clear? So each row is a customer. So I don't have any column name. We must give alias as you can say number of rows or number of customers, not rows. So you should you need to give the meaningful column names to the end users. This query is not for you, not for your you know, technical manager, for the end user. So how many customers we had? So we had 64 customers. So if there is a space in the alias, this is what is called alias, right? If there is a space, will it work? It's not going to work. Space must not be there in the alias. So if there is a space, how to do? Very simple. You must use this kind of a braces. That's what I told you. It is going to work. Clear? So you can say like this. Or we can also use single quotes. Single quotes also will work. So this is how you should be able to give an alias. And as is also not compulsory, give simply space and you should be able to give anything. So this is what is called aggregate function. This is the column name. You can give anything, whatever you wanted to write, you can write like this. And this would be your alias. Alias means column name. But you should be able to give meaningful names so that people can understand very, very easily. Find out number of customers. Now I want you to know small modification. Find out number of customers in branch branch BR1. So if you see the data, so we have uh, branch BR1, BR2, up to BR9 branches are available. So you have lot many customers where branch ID is equivalent to say br1 right so i wanted to know i wanted to know these are the br1 customers there are 18 i wanted to find out same clause where clause i wanted to copy i wanted to have the clause here so you can write select from and where so I wanted to know, find out number of customers in branch BR1. When I execute it, it is going to give me branch BR1. I wanted to know, find out customers in branch BR5. So what we should do? We have to write BR5, right? So how many customers are there in branch BR5? So there are four customers. So who are they means you can simply write like this the customer's data will be given. So these are branch BR4 customers, these are 13 customers. If you want to see 13 customers list here, the count here, you should be able to see there are 13 customers. This is a separate query, the complete list is here. Clear? Now, I wanted to tell you one more query like this. What is the query? Find out number of customers in branch BR1 and branch br2 i wanted to know for both branches so branch id could be br1 and branch id could be br2 okay so this is how you should be able to find out 
find out number of customers in branch br1 and branch br2 when you execute it we know branch br1 we have so total 18 customers plus branch br2 we have 6 18 plus 6 24 customers we supposed to get it here so we are getting zero why because i have used end clause okay so end is completely wrong because customer may be in br1 or br2 you cannot say you know gender male and gender female gender cannot be both right either gender male or female so you cannot use end you may use in english but logically technically speaking it is our clause so when you say our clause it is going to work clear so brid br1 or brid could be br2 in english we say end but when you convert that into a technical expression it is or so you can use like this or there's a shortcut way you can use in in branch br1 you can remove all these things put comma branch br2 clear so you need to execute and use like that tomorrow if you need how many people are available comma in branch br4 also simply you go there and you can say branch br4 you can give the in in means or clause in means what or branch brid equals to br1 or branch brid equals to branch br2 or so in clause means or clause so this is a shortcut way so total 37 people we are going to have so this is how you are going to get the data now how the execution is happening if i say find out number of customers in branch br1 so how the execution is going to be happening so which which one will get executed is it a top to bottom first select then from then where close how the execution of the query is going to be happening it is very very important execution of the query so which portion of the query will get executed first always from clause will be executed first so when you execute this query always a from clause will get executed why it has to sql server has to go to this table first otherwise how do you, you know count how do you search so for not it is not going to use a select it is going to be using from clause okay it will go to account master table then immediately if there is a where clause where clause is going to be eliminating rows so immediately where clause is going to work so immediately where clause will say i need branch br1 data i don't need anything else so br2 br3 will get eliminated so clear so first from clause then the where clause done after that counting is going to start counting means after elimination it is going to be you know doing one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven like that count is going to happen so the next clause is called aggregation aggregation is going to be happening counting the last one it has to display the value so display has to happen display is done with the help of a select select is going to print so it will go to the table eliminates the required data then you know it counts and displays with the help of a select clear so display is going to be happening this is what is called the select clause is going to display the data so execution of the query is very very important clear let me give you one simple example I wanted to find out number of students in the room. I asked Billin, hey Billin, go to the classroom and you find out number of students. So first she has to know which classroom. Classroom fifth, classroom fourth. So I would have written classroom number four. So she will go to that classroom, then started counting. So this is the first one. 
find out number of students. So she has to go to the classroom or to the table first. Then immediately she will be counting it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So from class, since there is no where class, so it is going to be starting counting. Then display. Sir, we had 1020 people in this room. Sir, we had 190 people in this room. Clear? That's what you need to understand. If I say, hey, Belen, find out number of customers, number of, you know, let us say, male students in this room, in the class. That is the next, you know, question I asked Belen or John. So you are the one of the, you know, uh, say, a guy, you supposed to take the count. So what I told you, hey, you go to the classroom and tell me number of male students. What you do? You go to the classroom first. That is from class. Then what you do? You need only the male. Hey, guys, come on. I need only males to be available in the room. Other genders, please vacate the room. So what you're doing? Where gender equals to male. That is the clause is going to be applied. I need males. So that means what remaining people have to vacate. So rest of the people will get eliminated from the room. So now you, you've gone to the room and you have eliminated. The next one is called, you're going to be counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Count is happening. Then you will come out and tell me, sir, we have nine people in that room. So nine what? Nine males. Clear? Because I was talking about only males. So select a count star from the room where gender equals to male. That is how you're technically going to write. So from the room, which room? Some room, room number one, room number two, table A, table B, table C, something like that. Okay. If I say number of females, what do you do? Select count star from the room where gender equals to female. So how the execution? First, you go to the room. Then do the elimination. You need only the females. That means other genders have to be uh, filtered. Then what you do? You're going to be doing count star. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then select. Select means print. You will come out. Sir, in that room, we have 16 females are available. So however you're doing, SQL Server is also going to do Oracle is also going to do the same thing. Clear? So remember, the execution is not a top to bottom, bottom to top. It is always from clause first, then the where clause, then the aggregation, then the display. Clear? So that is very, very important thing that you should know. In many interviews, this question is asked. How the execution of the query? how the it is going to be getting executed it's very very important thing to understand now let us use different functions as well what is the sum and minimum maximum if you want to get it it's pretty much easy so find out total find out total balance right so total balance. So I wanted to use some function and C balance as total balance. So let me remove this and try to execute it. Try to execute it. So this is the total balance. Now if you wanted to need total balance in branch br1 then you must use where class where branch id is equivalent to branch br1 so that's very much easy anybody can get the data so how the execution first it will go to this table eliminates the data and whatever be the data that has it is going to be summing row by row row by row so you have 10 20 30 you have 10 plus 20 plus 30 in this column. Clear? So that is how the execution is going to be happening. Then we have, if you need minimum balance or maximum balance, now you can write all these things. 
So instead of this, you can go in for minimum balance, right? Now you can apply minimum balance in branch BR1 or minimum balance in only what is the minimum balance and what is the maximum balance? What is the average balance? What is the maximum? What is the average balance in the bank? So anything you can easily get to know. Very, very simple queries. You can use them. You can understand them. You can execute them at a stretch as well. So minimum balance, maximum balance, average balance, you can execute all of them at a stretch. You can execute. So it is going to give me the complete data and number of customers, number of customers, blah, blah. Complete data can be shown. Now, I wanted to show you all of them in a single query. Can I, can I use like that? For example, I wanted to take this query and this will give me number of customers. Now, comma, I wanted to give average balance in this only, comma. Okay, now, in this maximum balance, minimum balance everywhere i'm giving alias so that people can easily understand what is that minimum maximum and i wanted to also get some so any any permutation combination you can use average first maximum later anything okay so total number of customers are the, these many average balance maximum minimum this one i wanted to use where you may use any clause. I wanted to have for this guy. So first, it will go to this table and eliminates the data, then doing all these aggregate functions. Okay, in branch BR1, we had 18 guys. We had only 18 guys. The total average balance for these 18 guys, maximum balance, minimum balance, average i wanted to know for branch br5 i need all this information so four customers so total four you know customers data is this much and average minimum maximum whatever you wanted to give we can give it there there is no issue at all all these things can be used and written like that clear so count star is the function which is going to be counting number of rows clear so tomorrow we'll continue do you have any questions guys so these are the aggregate function count star average min max sum clear so tomorrow we'll discuss some more functions guys thank you so much any questions